this is Sarah, and we're working on getting Noodle Feet walking this weekend. So Mark went ahead and set up this guide wire uh, on the ceiling above our work table, which is right here. And what that's going to do is basically have a cable dropping down, like a leash. So this leash is going to clip onto Noodle Feet and basically make sure that if he falls while trying to walk across the surface of the table, he's not going to fall for more than like an inch or two. So I went ahead and made him this leash that's in protective yellow right here. So this is the ring that this clip right here is going to attach to, and this is just some, um, I don't know what these are. They got transformed into this nice little, uh, noodle leash, or noodle collar. Noodle holster? I don't know, what would you call it? Noodle sling? It's a noodle sling. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, put his legs back on and see what I can do. Okay, I guess just hold this piece. This? So when I woke up the other day, uh, there was this, like, squeaking thing for coming from the air ducts. I don't know. And while I was sleeping, or waking up rather, I was dreaming that Noodle Feet was running around and that the squeaking was a little bell hanging off of a little collar that he had on. So when I made his harness, which is this thing, the yellow, I made sure that I attached a little bell so that when he runs around he can like make a little dingy sound. So, all of his servo motors are now wired up to the breadboard, and they're connected to the Arduino, and the Arduino is connected to my computer, so he's ready to test with. But uh, this video is running a little long, so I will include footage of his first steps in my next video.